Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Data is one of the most valuable assets a business has, and data storage and data sharing are important business operations. Today, I will talk about three types of data storage: file storage or file level storage, block storage or block level storage, and object. Or object level storage. Each of these data storage solutions has its uses and advantages. File storage. File storage or file level storage stores data in a hierarchical structure. The files are organized into folders. And subfolders, or you can say directories and subdirectories. To retrieve a file, to get a file, we need four paths of the file and the file name. File storage is commonly used in hard drives, hard disks, like in our personal computers, and NAS system, network attached storage. File storage uses protocols NFS (Network File System) and SMB (Server Message Block). The file system works best when the amount of data is small and is stored on personal computers and business servers, normally for small businesses or organizations. File storage is simple, easy, and inexpensive. Block level storage. Block level storage is commonly used for large and structured files, like databases, applications, etc. The file is divided into multiple blocks, and each blocks, each block. Has its unique identifier ID. Blocks can be stored in a different distributed disk drives. We needed they are retrieved by the ID and and reassembled. Is commonly used with SAM storage area network. It uses iSCSI Internet Small Computer Systems interface and. Fiber channel (FC). Compared with the file level storage, block level storage is faster and more flexible, but more complex. Object storage. Object storage is relatively new technology, and is often used for large amount of unstructured data. Objects have three basic components: ID, unique identifier, metadata, description of the data, and the data is actual data. Object storage is great for storing static content, like movies, photos, music, etc. They are easily accessible、uh, by HTTP request means websites. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.